What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger. We are showcasing a Coridon team that you guys can save for rank battles in Regulation G. Now, Coridon is a Pokemon that we already showcased on the channel, but I want to showcase it again because we are just a couple days out of rank dropping for Regulation G. So you guys can save this team in your rental codes and save it for obviously rank battles because this team is top tier. A Crydon over here is in the top left hand corner, rocking Orichalcum Pulse. Its signature ability, which is absolutely insane. It drops the sun every time it steps onto the field. And furthermore, it gives Crydon a physical attack boost within the sun. So this thing's hitting like a truck at all times, pretty much. It's got clear amulet as its item, arguably the best item for Crydon. And then furthermore, it's got flame charge, collision course, flare blitz, and protect. Another Pokemon that is going to be a staple next to Crydon on this team is going to be Tornadus. It's got Tailwind and Ice Wind for two different ways of speed control. Furthermore, it's got Sunny Day. So for versus, say, like Kyogre or another Tornadus with like Rain Dance, any other weather setter, we could just go into Tornadus, Prankster Sunny Day, and get the sun back out for this team. Other Pokemon on today's team going to be Fluttermane and Raging Bolt. Both these Pokemon pair up perfectly with Coridon because obviously their ability Protosynthesis procs within the sun. Fluttermane's over here rocking Taunt, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Ice Wind, while Raging Bolt has Thunderclap, E-Web, Draco Meteor, and Snarl. Our final two Pokemon on today's team, one is going to be Amoongus. Amoongus, great support Pokemon, works super well in Trick Room, and our last one is going to be Flame Ogre Pond. Flame Ogre Pond is going to be awesome because it hits like a truck within the sun, Ivy Cudgel doing massive amounts of damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match using this Coridon team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Kev. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code so I can showcase on the channel. Thank you for being a longtime viewer as well. Cannot wait to use this squad. Again, huge shout out to you, my dude. But uh, we're going up against Arbok. Pretty dope Pokemon. Alongside with Weezing, gotta watch out for that neutralizing gas. Furthermore, they got Victory Bell, Alolan Muck, Toxapex, and Torkoal. So this team could actually get annoying. It looks like a lot of poisons going on here, right? A lot of poisons, but they have no way of weather control, which that screams to me. So I am gonna bring out my boy, Coridon. Gotta love me a Coridon. So I'm gonna leave Coridon alongside with probably either Fluttermane or Raging Bolt. Just get after it that way. Or I could go in with Hearth Flame Ogre Pond. Not bad. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond here. I like Ogre Pond. I like Ogre Pond, especially if they want to go, say, into like Toxapex. We can have a Grass Move, which would be neutral up against that. That's not bad. I'm going to go into you, and I'm just going to bring Fluttermane and Raging Bolt. Just go big time hyper offensive squad here. I think that's the way, especially up against this squad. We have to just start getting after it, do an insane amount of damage, and just try and knock out these bulky Pokemon, right? Because they, they can do a lot here. They can do a lot. Like, they, it, this seems like a gimmicky team. So it seems like they can put me to sleep. It seems like they can go for like minimizes. Just a lot of things could go wrong here. But let's see who they end up leading. It's gonna be Arbok and Toxapex. So Arbok Toxapex comes out here. We go Coridon and Ogre Pond. Or Calcum Pulse does proc right now. We get the harsh sunlight. And this boy's getting a big time attack boost. <laughs> so Ogre Pond's here. Intimidate's gonna come out here and it's gonna intimidate my my Ogre Pond. Do I terrasize my Ogre Pond? I just might. I just might. Hmm. I just might, or I just might go for a Flare Blitz to KO you. And I could honestly just go for Follow Me's. I could Hard Swap him as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Hard Swap Ogre Pond. We'll just save it for later. No big deal. And then we'll go for a Flare Blitz with Karad and hopefully KO in this Arbok. Just dump it on it, right? But there goes the swap into our Raging Bolt. Just so we have something to deal with this Toxapex. We will get the Protosynthesis boost. Getting that special attack boost, which is huge. And our box is going to protect, which is a pretty solid turn one here. So that's pretty solid for them. Right? Don't, don't, don't you dare Toxic my Crydon. I'd be so upset. Are you putting a Toxic on my Crydon? You are. You little booger. You little booger. So there's that. That's happening right now. Um, I could E-Web. I could... Um, what's my other watching move? Is it Volt Switch? No, it's Thunderclap. It is Thunderclap. But we're still just going to go for Flare Blitz, and I'm just going to go for an E-Web here. Give me no reason not to go for an E-Web. E-Webbin. So right now, my Coridon is toxic right now. It's going to take some nice poison damage. Kind of looking annoying. But I got some big dogs out here. 
I got some big dogs out here. We'll see what uh, Toxic Bex wants to do. I really want to go for a Thunderclap, but if this thing's just going for another Toxic, then Thunderclap's just going to miss, so there's no point. So we're sticking with E-Web here, just doing some damage. Honestly, E-Web should chunk up some damage here as well. But they're just going to choose to hard swap here into who? What are you hard swapping into? I'm going to go with a Torkoal. Solid swap. This guy's just playing really, really slow pace here. Wants to just protect, do all that good stuff. And Flare Blitz, doing minimal damage. Nothing crazy. We take a little bit of recoil. You're going to try to talk to me here as well. Potentially, right? I mean, E-Web's actually doing great damage over on you. Getting the speed drops. We love it. The speed's dropping, and you're going to go for a Haze here. So Haze really doesn't do anything. Maybe you thought I was going for Calm Mind. That seems like what you, what you think was going to happen. You definitely think I was going to go for a Calm Mind there. So from here, I could just go for Collision Course and take out Torkoal, which is fine by me. And on top of that, we're just going to drop another E-Web, just in case he wants to swap out. Might just protect here again, but E-Web's going to be a play. So Hayes came across here. Did not really do anything. Just kind of stopped any speed drops. I mean, speed drop. I mean, that's the only thing. But we're still at speed. So we're just going to protect Torqua. I think he's just wanting Toxic to just chip away onto my onto my Coridon. And that's fine. I mean, we can just keep sending this collision course that way. And E-Web can keep chunking up damage. Cool. I'm fine with this. You're going to put a Toxic on my Raging Bolt? It seems like this. It seems like that's the play here. Unless you're going for a Recover, that can get annoying. Now you're going for Toxic. That's totally fine. Toxic's really not doing... I mean, it's, it eventually does more damage, but right now we're getting valuable turns out here. Just chipping up some nice damage. So now this turn, we should pick up a Double KO unless Toxic Pex protects, which is definitely an option. And from here, we should just go into... A collision course, right? Yeah, you have no ghost type. Collision course works fine here. We're just going to a collision course right in this slot. We might swap back into Arbok. That's definitely a possibility, but I'm just going to keep e weapon. I mean, it's pretty safe to do. It's pretty safe to do. It's pretty safe to do. So he's just going to withdraw Toxic Pex. You going back into Arbok in this slot, or you going into your final Pokemon? You going back into Arbok. No big deal. No big deal. And we might want to actually swap. You might want to swap Karada next turn, just so we can have Sun for later. The Collision Core is going to fly here. It is going to KO you all day. Bop, see you later. We get rid of Torkoal, which was a big threat. And E-Web is just going to be able to fly into this Arba. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, so Karada is going to die in a couple of turns. And I'm so... Oh, that's some nice damage with E-Web. That's some nice damage. But Karada dies in probably the next... Maybe the next turn. 55 HP. That, that one just did a chunk. Toxic does more and more each time. So I'm thinking we might want to swap Karadon. Because we have one turn left in Sun. And I would love to just have the Sun for later usages. Especially for the squad. And from here, I mean... I feel like their plan's just working too slow, right? They're actually playing pretty good, pretty well with swap outs and all that. Toxifax comes back out here with a Regenerator. With Regenerator. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to swap straight into Ogre Pond. I'm going to swap straight into Ogre Pond. And I'm just going to go for e -Web. Another simple E-Web. Another simple E-Web. So I can see Protects popping out here. Let's swap Karadon. Let's get the Sun out here for later. And plus, I believe it might reset the Toxic damage. I th there's, a, there's a slight chance that it doesn't. I kind of honestly don't really know. But I feel like it should. I feel like it should. I feel like the next Toxic, after we switch back in, is going to do like the, the first time damage. Like about 10, 11 to 15. But there's the swap out. Bring in out ogre pot here so i think someone's gonna protect maybe even a double protect here considering they're probably trying to waste out sun and i'm gonna mold break up so arbok you protecting someone's terrestrializing might be the pex it might be the pex here not trying to take that damage and now it's gonna be arbok so arbok's gonna terrestrialize into straight dark a dark type arbok and honestly this e-web still might ko this e-web still might ko that might just be a waste of a terror baneful bunker comes out here no problem. I'm not attacking you. And Sucker Punch is trying to fly here. Actually, smart call. That's a smart call to go after my Karadon like that. But, bad news for you. I swap my Karadon. Hate to break it to you. So our opponent actually is playing pretty well. They have a real gimmicky team. I just think it's not enough, right? It's just not enough for this regulation G squad. So we're picking up the KO onto Arbok. Um, Harsh Sunlight's going to fade. Photosynthesis is gone. And I'm just going to swap my Raging Bolt into Cry. I get the sun out here for the rest of the game. And pretty much just set up victory, right? It's pretty much over at this point. 
it's pretty much over. Now comes our final Pokemon. It's going to be Victory Bell. Actually, Dublin is, is speed right now. And now's going to be a perfect time to Thrasilize. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to hit that thing right in the head. Just so I remove my weakness of poison type moves. And then I'm just going to swap right back into Cryodon. Actually, I don't have to swap into Cryodon. I just give that thing speed if I swap into Cryodon. Yeah, might as well just go for like a Draco Meteor E Web or something. Let's go for an E Web just in case it's Sash. Yeah, there's no point of us actually going into Cryodon at this point. We would just give him double speed. And we don't want that. Because then he could just put me to sleep or something like that. So I'm just going to Terrasalize. I'm just going to Terrasalize if he wants to go for Sludge Bomb now. We'll be neutral to that. And we can just bop this thing on the head. Get it out my face. Plus one on attack. And Ivy Cudgel. Go and finish it off. That or Focus Sash. And if it's Focus Sash, we got E Web flying in the back end. See you later, Victory Bell. Good game. I'm surprised they didn't cancel yet. We got a crit too. We were, it was KOing regardless. Everybody knows the power of Roker Pond. It's KOing that little leaf regardless. So E Web's gonna fly here. I actually don't think it's gonna KO. And it does KO. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, we get a crit on that. That's why. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. But hey, 1 0. We're starting things off hot here with the Karadon squad. Moving on to match number two, and we are going up against a Zamazeta team. So Zamazeta team right here with screens with Grimmsnarl. A little bit of a threat. Can't really get those off the field, right? Do I have any way of getting them off the field? I don't believe I do. Don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. But another thing that they do have is weather. Weather is just a problem. Kind of cancels out our weather. So I might just go Tornadus and Coride on here. Maybe try to set that up. But again... Again, the problem here is the screens, too. The screens are just massive. They are honestly massive. Um, I do have Taunt on you, but he is a Dark type. No, I don't have Taunt on you. Who do I have Taunt on? It's you. I have Taunt on you. So the thing is here, we're going to have to allow him just to set up screens if he wants to, right? Screens are free. So we're going to allow him to set up screens. We're going to go into Coridon and Tornadus here. And then we are just going to bring in Fluttermane and also Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond has a high chance of critting, which is great. I also have grass moves to deal with that Primarina, and if that Urshfu is water, beautiful, we can deal with that as well. But yeah, screens? I don't like it. I hate going up against screens, especially Roarvel too. Roarvel and, and the other one. But he ends up going Zamaseta and the Lola Ninetales. And the Lola Ninetales, are you faster than my Coridon? Are you faster than my Coridon? You are not. So we're gonna have to set Sunny Day all by ourselves. And we're gonna have to go from there. He's gonna Dauntless Shield for that defense boost. So we still just go after that thing. I might just go after him. I could Terra Fire. I could just go Collision Course. I could go Fire Blitz. Fire Blitz will do more damage. I'm going Fire Blitz. I'm going Sunny Day. We are trying just to get rid of this Amazed. I know it's plus one on defense, but Karada can hit hard in the sun. So we change the sunny day. We go Flare Blitz here right off the rip. And we do nice damage to Zamazetta. That's big time damage to Zamazetta. Because I think it's just so bulky. There's that. He goes for the Iron Defense Bulk Up. No big deal. No big deal. Hopefully you're going for Aurora Veil. Blizzard. Ouch. And it double connects. And it double connects. So from here, I'm actually just going to throw a Collision Course. Actually, no. You know what? We're just going to... We're just going to try to dump on you. And who could you swap into? Because you might swap Ninetales here. You could swap Ninetales. I'm still just going to go for a Flare Blitz here. And I'll fall behind with a Bleak Windstorm. That's going to be my play. You might just protect this Zamazetta. You're going to end up swapping the Zamazetta. So after that defensive boost, you go for the swap here. And you're going to go in the Primarina, which is fine. Which is fine. So Primarina gets a swap here. Flare Blitz is going to fly into the Ninetales slot, which is big time for us, and we KO that. So we KO the Ninetales, we get off big time damage on the Zamazetta at the cost of our Coridon, because our Coridon is now gone. But hey, I'll take that all day, getting rid of Primarina and having the sun out, because we have weather control for pretty much the rest of the match, which is huge. Bleak Wind Storm is going to connect. Give me a speed drop. Give me a speed drop. Show it to me. Let's go. Big time speed drop coming out here. So now I could just go into you. I want to and just go Fairy Terra, Moonblast, and all that good stuff. I could go into my Ivy Cudgel user. I think I'm just going to go into... You give me no reason not to go into Fluttermane here. Especially with Protosynthesis. Give me no reason. Zamazetta comes back out and about. Defense boost going to bulk. We have two special attackers out here. 
And I'm kind of relying on a Bleak Windstorm to land into this Supreme Arena. Just for the KO, right? Do I Terrasalize Straight Fairy? I mean, Moonblast should just get the job done. I'm going to go Moonblast here. And I'm going to have fingers crossed that Bleak Windstorm lands onto the Supreme Arena for the KO. There's Moonblast finishing off Zamazetta. No problem. And this match looking pretty quick. This match looking pretty quick. Bleak Windstorm, do your job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See, my not is hitting today. I don't got to worry about him missing attacks. He's got this. He's got this. But that's pretty much the match. They got one Pokemon left. We have full Sun Control. We have Protosynthesis on our Flutter main. We still have uh, Ogre Pond. Everything is looking good. And this thing is the Dark Version. So you run four times a week to this, my dude. You run four times a week. And honestly, if you're going to go for a Sucker Punch and try to KO me, we're going to Thrasalize Fairy. Just play it safe. And we'll just go for a Bleak and Storm behind that. So, yeah, you are Terrasalizing. Oh, no, that's me Terrasalizing. I would think you're Terrasalizing, too. But, yeah, this is just a safe play in case he wants to go for Dark Terra Sucker Punch into my Ghost Flutter main. That would probably honestly KO. I mean, we have Focus Ash, but... Yeah, but this is just working 10 times better. See, only doing about 50 damage. Moonblast is going to fly here. Be four times super effective. Most likely KO unless Focus Ash. And... It is Focus Ash. Bleak Wind Storm, you don't miss. Bleak Wind Storm, you don't miss. I just told the community that you don't miss. You can't miss now. See, I told you guys. My Tunatus don't miss. He's a dog. He's an absolute dog. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 0. We are dominated with Crydon right now. Let's go hop to our third. Moving on to our final match, and we have ourselves a true test Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Now, Shadow Rider Calyrex is going to be insane in regulation G. Going to be top of the top. Of restricted Pokemon. So we're gonna have to watch out for the squad here. Looking like a pretty strong one too. They also have Tornadus, Walking Wake, which can actually thrive out in the sun. So they're probably gonna bring it because I'm definitely bringing sun. Furthermore, they got Incineroar, then they got um, Urshifu and Tornadus. Not Tornadus, Landers. Landers is a strong Pokemon here as well too. So from here for our lead, I kind of just want to go into Tornadus just to get some sort of speed control for the squad. And furthermore, I might just leave Coridon, right? They want to fake it out, they can fake it out, but I mean, Intimidate really won't do too much, so I'm cool with just going in with these two. I got Covert Cloak, I can Protect, I got Clear Amulet, I love our items on this Pokemon. But um, our final two Pokemon, one of them is going to definitely be Fluttermane. I kind of need Fluttermane here, and last but not least, do we go in with Raging Bolt or Ogre Pond? Hmm. The real problem here is, is that a Rain Setter or a Sun Setter? I don't know. On their Tornadus, but I'm just gonna go into Ogre Pond here. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond. You can't really go wrong with it, right? It's typing just super well with fire and grass. I feel like it neutralizes some of its weaknesses, like water. Awesome. You got grass typing on that. It just neutralizes that right away. On top of that, fire, it's 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 neutral to that. It just works out so well. It's just neutral to a lot of different things. But they're gonna end up going Calyrex and Tornado. So from here they could go Rain Dance. They could definitely go Rain Dance here. Um, I definitely want to set up a Tailwind. But the real thing is, do we believe? Do we believe that my Tornado is faster than their Tornado? We gotta see. We gotta see. Cause I would love. Actually, I don't have Taunt. Never mind. It's just wait. I wasted my time. We do have Icy Wind, which is good for us here as well. But I'm just gonna set up the Tailwind here. And I think I just protect you, right? I think I just protect you. Maybe I should have went for Icy Wind first. I probably should have went for Icy Wind first instead of Tailwind. Probably would have been my best bet. But I'm just going to protect Rad on here. I should have went for Icy Wind first. We're going to go for Tailwind. Because now if they go for Tailwind, our, their Cadillac should outspeed my... My what's it called? Yeah, I knew it. I knew I should issue in first. Astro Barrage gonna fly here. Yeah, that's a that's a bad call on mine. Icy Wind should have flew out here first for us. Or even Bleak Wind Storm, but Icy Wind would have been better. There goes Astro Barrage, because you should soak this, correct? Yeah, and then I could have went for Tailwind. Which could have worked so well. Um We're still gonna go for an Icy Wind here. I have a fire terra. Um Hmm. I'm just going to go for the speed boost here, in all honesty. Into the Calyrex. We need some more speed. We need some more speed cooking here. Need some more speed. And did I hit Terra on accident? Or is that them? I hit Terra on accident. I didn't mean that. I kind of just wanted to check out its Terra type. 
Yep, so we're going Fire Terror, it looks like. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. I mean, we do get rid of our Fighting Typing. So in case they want to go for, say, like... Oh, you protect anyway, that's fine. So you end up just going for... Protect, Flame Charge gonna get blocked. I wish I still got the Speed Boost, though. That could've been great. And Icy Wind going to chip up a little bit of damage onto you. But at the same time, slowing this thing down. Unless you're Curve Cloak, which is most likely you are, right? Most likely a Curve Cloak here. Yeah, you are. And Icy Wind's gonna fly here. I'm clear, Emmy. I am clear, Emmy. Okay, so from here, I mean, I get a nice special attack boost with, say, Flutter Me. I could just go into Ogre Pond. I mean, Calyrex is a problem, but I do have Sash here, which is great news. Great news. What's your speed at, though? 180. You, you should be faster than this, uh, this Tornado, so. I like it. I like it. We're gonna go new. I wish I had Dazzle Gleam. I wish I did have Dazzle Gleam at this point. I wish I did. But from here, we are just gonna go into. I could go into another Icy Wind if I want to, but I think just going into, like, a Moon Blast in this slot and doubling down Flame Charge is definitely gonna play. But out comes a Rain Dance. Go for Rain Dance, you little booger. How dare you, you little booger. And Protosynthesis is going to be gone. Astro Barrage is going to fly here. We're going to Sash up for sure. How much damage are you doing to Crybun? A lot. A lot. See, I told you. This Pokemon's a problem. This Pokemon's a problem. So I Sash up. Flame Charge flying out here. I do get a Speed Boost, which is rather nice. And can this Moon Blast KO you? Probably not. We're just not doing enough damage here. I do like the Speed Boost, though. I do love the Speed Boost, though. Moon Blast flies. Moon Blast does a nice chunk of damage. Special Attack Drop. But at this point, it's like, oh, man. At this point, it's tough, because the only way I can get weather back is swapping you out. Huh. Yeah, Calyrex, big time problem. We don't like dealing with this. I need to swap this thing out. I need to swap it out. I need to swap it out. That range is, oh, man, because I would love to sit in the sun. If I was in the sun here, we actually would have had a decent shot being plus one on speed. Kind of getting after it that way. I'm forced to kind of swap into Ogre Pine here. He's going to end up withdrawing Tornadus. So Tornadus gets a withdrawal here. Let's save it for later, which is smart play. And they're going to bring out Incineroar. Which is going, just going to Intimidate. How dare you. And you're going to also be able to have Fake Out next turn. How dare you. How dare thee. Protect comes out for Calyx. And that actually works fine for me. That actually works fine for me. Shadow Ball's gonna get blocked. You can fake me out now. Um, Tailwinds are gone. On both sides. And do we swap Fluttermane? I think we just try to go for an Icy win and just Spiky Shield here. I'm gonna Spiky Shield up. Fluttermane's probably dead here, right? Correct. Big Cat's gonna go into this slot. Astro Barrage gonna fly. You're gonna take on my Flutter main. Mm, yeah, this is just not looking good for you, boy. Incineroar does take damage, which we love. And Astro Barrage is going to. It's just outspeeding. It's just outspeeding, which is the biggest problem. It's just the biggest problem here. It's the biggest problem. So now we get to set the sun back out. Now we can set the sun back out here. I think we might have to just protect our Coridon. And then go after this. This Calyrex. Now, Calyrex is neutral on special attack right now. Just neutral. And from here, we definitely have to protect. Because then we just die. And I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel in this slot. You might even protect your Calyrex, which could be a little bit of an issue. But it doesn't look like you are, right? It doesn't look like you are. We're looking for a comeback here. Asher Bob's going to fly here. Uh, Ogre Pond should be able to soak this. And then get rid of the Calyrex, which is good news. But the problem here would just be him doubling down on my Ogre Pond and kind of just getting rid of him and then setting the weather next turn. Yeah, so see, Ogre Pond eats that all day. Ivy Cuts are going to finish him off. So we don't get swept, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. But Shadow Rider Calyrex is just... It's a real problem. I'll definitely have another Shadow Rider Calyrex team for you guys very, very soon. Just to showcase the power of that Pokemon. Or just to give you guys a team for rank. Like, next next Shadow Rider Calyrex video I'm going to bring you guys is just going to be straight up Shadow Rider Calyrex. Big time meta team. Something for you guys to rent and go high ranks when uh, rank next year drops in a couple of days. So they end up going into the parting shot. Smart play. It's pretty much wrapping up the match here. And Tornado is going to come back out here and set the sun. We already know it's set. Well, not the sun. It's going to set the rain. 
This is going to set the rain. He's going to go back into Incineroar, dropping me down really, really low. I'm a low guy right now. I'm real low. So obviously, Rain Dance is going to fly here. You could honestly just go for Bleak Wind Storm, let's be honest here. Let's be honest, you could just go for Bleak Wind Storm. But honestly, what's going to do more? Flutter Blitz would probably do more than Collision Course. I'm going to go into Flutter Blitz here. Um, I'm just going to go for Follow Me. I'm just going to go for Yeah, that's game. Just wrap it up. Just go for the Bleak Wind Storm. Just go for the Bleak Wind Storm. Just do it. Just take me out. Just take me out. Put me out of my misery. Now you go for Tailwind. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you were faking out that Ruger Pond at this point. I'm flinching here. And from here, I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz. And might as well just try to drop an Ivy Cudgel, right? Minus two. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe we get a crit. But yeah, there's the Rain Dance. That's the dagger. That's the dagger. The old Rain Dance. The Flare Blitz going to fire. I'm curious to see how much damage this does in the rain. How much damage are you doing in the rain? Not bad. That's not bad. I do love Coridon. He's so cool. He really is. Ivy Cudgel going to fly here. In the rain. Give me a crit. Negative six damage. We're minus two. You guys got to remember that. Flare Blitz now flies. You're going for Flare Blitz. That's going to KO me too. I'm dead. I'm a goner. That's going to be game. I'm running this one. I am not letting my Coridon die out here. So we're going to go two and one for today's video. And I feel like we showcased this team really good. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a Coridon team you guys can rent by using the rental code in the top right-hand corner for Ranked Battles for Regulation G. Ranked Battles do come out in a couple days, so you're just going to have to store this one in your rental codes in one of the slots and save it for a little bit. But I'm telling you guys, this team is phenomenal. You got the Coridon, you got the Tornadus, both Sunsetters, both being able to hit pretty hard as well. Then you got Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, Ogre Pond, three Pokemon that thrive out in the sun. And then obviously, needing a little bit of support, you got a Moongus, very situational Pokemon, but works so well on this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.